Testing Tactics, the series where I test community created tactics and tell you if they're worth it or not. I'm going to show you the custom tactics now, the team we use, some gameplay, and then afterwards I'll let you know if I think the tactics were worth it or not. Today we've got the 442 flat created by Neil Guides, and these are the custom tactics. Neil uses a press after possession loss with 50 width, 40 depth, balanced build up play and forward runs. Width 50, players in the box 7, corners and free kicks 3, but I think you could probably change that. The instructions that are used are stay central, get in behind and stay forward on your two strikers. On your left mid and right mid you use come back on defence and get in behind. And on your two centre mids, now this is where it varies a little, you have one on get forward, cover centre and the other one on stay back while attacking cover center. To depend on the players you have, you have one to get forward, one to stay back. I'll show you in a second who I chose for mine. And then the left backs, you've got stay back while attacking and overlap, and then the two center backs and goalkeeper we didn't change. I'll show you the team we used and then go back into the tactics to show you how it lined up. The in goal, we had Edison. Right back, we had Lamptey. Right center back, we had Ricardo Carvalho. Left centre back, we had Ledley King. Left back, Berlin Mendy. The first centre midfielder we had, sure many. The second centre midfielder we had, Kevin De Bruyne. Now for left mid, we had Harry Kuehl. For right mid, we had Jeremy Doku. Left striker we went with Jungmin Son and then right striker we have Fernando Morientes. This is the team we used. Let me just show you how it lines up in game. This is how it lines up in game. As you can see, just as I said, Edison, Mendy, King, Carvalho, Lamptey, then it's Kuehl, Chuameni, De Bruyne, Doku, Son and Morientes. As I mentioned earlier, with the two centre mids, I have Chuameni as my stay back centre mid and then I have De Bruyne as my get forward centre mid. You'll see that in the games and it's very noticeable. So let's get testing tactics. The 442 created by Neil Guides. Game number one, this is his team. Ramsdale, Trent, me. Here we go. So we're gonna try out this formation, see how we get on. My main point is just to see how good it is defensively. Defensively, this is where I really need to judge this. There's no way I've just been burnt like that. Who was that? Ledley King got fried. Mendy, great touch. No, 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 see, Kuehl's come back really deep there, so I've had to send him on a manual run, which is fine to an extent. But, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We're still getting used to it. Sure, not really doing much there, am I? I'm just stepping over to nobody. Yes, Kuehl. Sonny boy with the finesse. I mean, we take it. We take it. Cheesy guy, I'm going to give you this one. Oh. <laughs> I love that celebration. Hard to judge first game. I think if he quits, yeah, hard to judge. Very hard to judge after one game. Um, I did get fried a bit at the back to start with, so we will see. Game number two, we have... That Patelis is scary. Scary. Other than that, it's an interesting thing. That Patelis is scary though. Right, into game number two. We're just gonna see if we can cook. Oh, hold up. Let him cook. Let him cook. Honestly, um, <laughs> Harry Kuehl is so good. So good. For me, to judge this formation, it's really about defending. Because I think attacking is quite, not quite easy, easier. So for me, it's about how these formations defend, how they set up. 4-4-2 four, four, is an interesting one. It just depends on, like, if we get caught out or not. Okay, Doku, come back. That was probably my fault. I shouldn't make that pass. Now, we are in trouble. We got cut open with one through ball. ADB picks the ball up. I mean, referee. We don't have that around here. We're playing a nice, friendly game, and she's out here clamping. Here a Walsh. Have some shame. True, many. Oh, um, wrong button. But we take it. We got away with it. Doku with the passion. Lampy. 
Yes, we're moving. We're moving and shaking. Okay, that was a terrible pass by me. But we're moving the ball around. I'm telling you, free kicks, free goal. No joke. Free kicks stands for free goal. That's what it means. Free kicks, free goal. Tutorial, anyone? Tutorial? Let it rip. So far, though, the balance feels really nice. Defensively and offensively, the balance feels good. I mean, have... Oh. Woof. I was about to say, just cutting it across goal. Have some shame, Jay. ADB. With his little incisive pass as well. Docky's off. Let's use a bit of R1 dribbling there. Give a bit, a bit of pace. Finds feet. Oh, I tried to shot cancel. So defensively, this formation, the CDM feels a little lost. Like the CDM doesn't feel. You can. I feel like you. You it attacks me. Your back four at times, but. Hey, Sonny, Sonny and his finesse shot. Three 0 and TTV Harvey, dude. I think he's gone. So far, cooking. So far, cooking. The formation feels good. It's got a nice attacking balance. My only fear right now is the CDM in the middle. Is not a CDM, so you end up with a flat back four against the attack, which could actually cost you. But so far, book him. Game number three, what are we up against? Ralph out. What is his team saying? Stegen, okay, okay, okay. All right, man, he's got one lone game left on Haaland. This guy either really needs to win, or didn't realize he's on one game. Let's see. Pull the keeper, running back, he's going to try and chip him. Easy, easy, easy. Bait him, straight away, we got him. Shameful, shameful, just shoot, just shoot, just shoot. I deserve to miss that, I actually deserve to miss that. Right, so we're getting caught heavy on the counter. Fine. Oh, Rafinha with that... Yeah, we've been we've been opened up. Yeah, we've been we've been skinned. We've been absolutely skinned there. That is not good by me. Should have scored earlier, and then I've just ruined it. Carvalho wins it though, like a beast. Hey, that pass by KDB was amazing. The uh, the touch from Doku was not. All right. ADB gonna find that incisive pass, which he does. I mean, I'm not sure where his keeper was, but we take it. By the way, if, if you guys don't understand, KDB is so good at those through balls. He has that incisive pass, Playstar Plus, and it flies through to people's feet. So what it is nice with this formation is the fact that you can see that KDB, he, he attacks from deep, right? Again, look at the pass. No way. Doku was moving different then. Doku's really good on the ball, he just can't shoot. That's his big problem. Easy. Oh, that Carvalho, by the way, he is clean with his tackles. Yes. This football is electric. Yes, this football is electric. We're here for it. So far, what I will say, the 4-4-2... He's got a nice balance. Defensively is the bit I'll struggle. I think I need like 15 defenders defensively. Four games, four wins. Got to properly test out the tactic. We found some good things about it. Well, a lot of good things about it. And a few things I wasn't a fan of. But overall, great tactic. So the good things about it is attacking wise, you've got a lot of options going forwards. Your left mid and your right mid get forward. And they do the defensive work. And that centre mid who you have on get forward, he gets into the box, he gets some shots off. The bad thing I didn't like about it is you don't have a CDM. So, too many for me was a CM. He sat a bit too far forward, so every now and then I'll be left exposed with no CDM. So, defending's quite hard. But the press after possession loss makes your players kind of push up a bit, so you have to be pretty good at defending, I think. So, overall, the tactic was amazing. I would definitely recommend it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe because we're going to be doing testing tactics every week. 
without fail. And if you've got a tactic you want me to try, drop them in the comments below. Until next time.